How's it going? My name is Mike. My college is some of you may know me as Mojo Grip, uh, but I'm also one of the founders here at Look Up Flight Academy. And my story is that I've been a pilot uh, for about seven years. It was an itch that I needed to scratch. And this feels full circle because I remember still the very day that my wife bought me a demo flight ticket for my birthday. And I was hooked since then. And then I transitioned into trying to get more people in, just being excited about flying. And then boom, here we are seven years later and we're now training real pilots or real people to become pilots and not just any pilot, but actually build a career out of this. Uh, and I'm, I'm super excited about this opportunity. There's the entrepreneurial side. My brain works that way, but there's also the, the guy who wants to make a real impact. And believe it or not, the most exciting part for me right now is meeting our first set, set of students come in two or three weeks. Like I'm, I'm nervous and excited just to like see people because it's, it's a big step. When I think of my day one, getting my ticket, it still felt like yesterday. And the only reason I did it was because I read about a 15 year old girl who flew across the country. And I remember seeing the picture of this girl because she represented me. She looked like me. And I thought I had no excuse not to do this. That was what pushed me to actually get started. But that's just on, a, on an achievement side. My thing to you, if, you're, if you've even thought about it, if, you, if this has been in your mind or you've, you've even given it a thought, this is the best time to become a pilot. No other time in history. Uh, this is the best time to do it. And when I think of what I do, putting out videos and flying videos and reviewing airplanes, you know, I get hundreds, literally thousands of people email me all the time. Like, you know, dude, you have no idea what you've done for me. I started my journey, but more so I have people who have retired and regret that they never pursued this thing. And they say things like, well, now I just get to live it through you. And my response is, you don't have to do that. I want you in that cockpit. I want you on that left seat, flying the airplane yourself. As a matter of fact, the older, oldest person to get a license that I know was 78 years old, which is like up there. And even now in your 40s or 50s, you can still become an airline pilot if you wanted to. So if you've thought about it, if, if this is something that you, you didn't think was part of your calling or your purpose, but you, it's there, the desire is there. This is the best time to do it. And I want to help you get in that cockpit and fly the plane.